This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Full Sail University. Welcome back to Android Weekly. My name is Jason. This is where we cover the week's Android news. Like how a young man somehow got his hands on the new HTC One. We have a video to prove it. And Galaxy S4 users will be very happy to know they're getting KitKat. Google's text-to-speech upgrade means that the voice will sound smoother and more natural. Good for me, because if I have to continue to suffer Google Now's harassments, at least she'll sound more human while doing it. Jays, they want your autograph. I doubt that. They think you're Gru. <laughs> Yeah, so the Android world was a flutter this past week with the release of a leaked video showing the supposed HTC M8, or rather the new HTC One. It was shot by a young man who somehow got his hands on this flagship device before its launch. And although he seems like an excited young man with a new toy, he clearly did not understand the legal implications of the leak. Jeff Gordon, an HTC executive, sent the young man an ominous tweet saying, It's not gonna be a good week for you, my friend. But if the leaked video is real, it shows that HTC has made some changes to their flagship device. It appears from the video that HTC made several changes to the camera app and the camera's quality. It received a high rating, 8.7, from our young reviewer. Beats Audio and the popular dual speaker setup remain on the HTC One 2014, and it also appears that there is an SD card slot, although this could just be a feature included in the prototype. Moving on to news about Paranoid Android 4.0. The team behind Paranoid Android recently announced that it was killing the Halo multitasking system, but it turns out the team had larger plans for Fandroid Android. Almost everything in the ROM is being redesigned to fit the team's vision of what makes a great ROM based on stock Android. One of those added features is Pi, and it will be updated to fit the same aesthetic as the Google Now launcher. That means it will have easier access to Google Now with a swipe to the leftmost home screen. Now the ultimate goal of version 4.0 is to attract more people to the ROM and not just the same lot who are comfortable with command line operations. So one of the questions that comes up very frequently is, hey Jace, I want to learn how to code on Android. Well that is good, good, good because there is certainly a shortage of skilled software developers out there. The concern is, is that if you try and teach yourself, which some people do with success, but it is the most frustrating, painful route. And those who do succeed often have their first app looking something like this. That's why I was genuinely excited to have Full Sail University join us because they help deal with this very challenge. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and business side of mobile development so that you can develop and market an application from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for both iOS and Android. Students also receive a MacBook Pro with all the industry tools they'll need. Now if you're serious about competing in this rapidly growing industry, and not just talk about it, visit fullsale.edu forward slash authority to learn more about this online degree program. Now moving on to the bodacious claim that the Oppo Find 7 will have a rumored 50 megapixel camera, 50, perfect for those of us Android users who want to point our camera to the sky to help find water on Mars. According to a post on Weibo, the Oppo Find 7 will have a 50 megapixel camera. Apparently, Oppo has already posted a sample photo to prove it with a massive crop factor. The Oppo Find 7 is scheduled for an official announcement on March 19th, so we are right on track for leaks and teasers. Oppo has already teased a 5.5-inch 2600 by 1440 display, and leaks have suggested it will have 3 gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 800 processor. Not a bad phone at all. Now, it was believed that there would only be a 13 megapixel camera, but now we believe or we wonder if Oppo has seriously stepped up the specs to outdo any of the competition. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jason. You should know that we have been sending out those t-shirts to our Android Q&A winners. Thanks to Kyle here for sharing his photo with us. Looking good, Kyle. The rest of you, please share your photos with us. I will only share them publicly with your permission, of course. But my question for the rest of you is surrounding the whole new HTC One. What do you guys think of that phone? I mean, it looks fantastic. If the specs are accurate, I think it's possibly a great phone. I'm really looking forward to how uh, HTC Sense 6 works on the phone. The build quality looks fantastic. I'm a little torn because I am looking to buy a new phone in the next few weeks. What should I get? You know, it's tossed between the Nexus 5, the Moto X, and now maybe the HTC One. Uh, but it's five inches and I would prefer something a little smaller. 
Let me know in the comments below what you think. I shall see you next week on Android Q&A.